when you guys hear the word media, what do you think of? Like, what are the first three things that you think of, let's say, when you hear the word media? Um, everything on the internet, like um, social media and information, news and Yeah. Uh, I'd say probably um, like movies, TV, that, that's definitely a category. Um, I think news um, and then obviously social media, which is, you know, itself a whole world of content. Yeah, I guess that ages me because I just think like news, TV and movies, but it's also an overwhelming question because everything, just like you said, Evelyn, it all falls into media at some point. I think if I could say three words, like the, very, the most broad words to describe media in general, I would just say news, knowledge, and entertainment. If you could fit everything into three words, that's how I would do it. I like entertainment as that all encompassing. That's a good one. The media it is like the double end sword because like in one way they can bring awareness to like mental health issues and make like uplift people. But like in another way, they can also like glorify like eating disorders and things that are like negative. And I've seen like people saying that they like are in love with like murderers or stuff like that. And I just find that kind of weird. Like I have spent a lot of time on TikTok and during the pandemic, it was just like, oh, you know, everyone's now getting into this. And then as I got into teaching, it became like, okay, I need to research what the kids are doing in my room because they're finding crazy information and they're finding crazy behaviors to mimic from TikTok. For devious licks, um, that was, yeah, no, it, it was a problem. It was a problem across the whole country. Um, and it's, it's just culture at this point. You know, the kids remember that. So, and on some scale, it's mostly self-preservation uh, preser at this point. <laughs> How, how I view it is I, I kind of try to remain like as positive as possible, like on the side of TikTok where I'm at, like with the whole like movie cinema stuff like that, there's a lot of really toxic people on that side. And I'm kind of known in like the mini community that I have, like as like just like a positive guy. And regardless of like your political affiliation like I'll still be friends with you as long as you're not like a terrible human being like Andrew Tate like I recently made a video saying like if you support Andrew Tate like feel free to block or unfollow me because I draw the line at you know not being a good human being I don't really see politics um like on the community where I'm at because I will still respect you um I just kind of distance myself away from like negative energy or negative people. And the same thing with what Avalon said, you know, I don't, I don't really care what you call me. Like if you're going to straight up hate on my page, you know, I don't, I don't want that energy energy there at all. So a lot of the times I'll delete or block you. So yeah, in summary, I just try to remain as positive as possible.